There are innumerable ways to be on the water, powered by the wind or gas engines, your own energy, or the quiet, almost tranquil hum of an electric boat. That's what's really great about the electric motor is that it is so quiet. So it's almost like as if you're out here sailing on a sailboat versus cruising on a motorboat. Patrick Rourke is founder and owner of Boston Electric Boats, renting out a fleet of 22-foot Duffy electric boats, which can carry up to 12 passengers each. Some people have a lot of boating experience. Some people have just a little bit. Other people have no boating experience at all. And what's really cool about this is you don't need any boating experience at all. It's quite simple to drive these boats. Their top speed is only six miles per hour. And if we ever find ourselves head on with any other boat, our job is to move to the right. They should move to their right. A quick tutorial about boat handling and right of way rules, and you are off on your cruise of the Inner Harbor, guided by an easy to read chart that outlines your loop. The business opened last summer and has seen steady growth in its second year. We definitely get bridesmaids groups, we get birthday parties, anniversaries, we've had several engagements on the boats. We're seeing some team teams come out for team outings, corporate outings, company events. Rourke grew up boating on the Charles River and later in Boston Harbor and was driven to start the company by his love of this view and a desire to share it with others, especially in such comfort. So these boats are 22 feet long, just over nine feet wide. So really like a floating living room, very comfortable seating. We also have a back deck area. So if you want a little bit more sun versus the, the main cabin area. Electric boats are popular in Southern California locales like Newport and San Diego, and are also good lake boats. But Patrick is convinced they will win over the East Coast as well. These electric boats were the perfect blend of comfort, eco-friendly, and a quiet motor. So you can enjoy conversation and your music as you cruise around the harbor. You could say sailing is to Newport as wind is to water, reflective of and connected to each other. That is now memorialized in a new addition to the Newport landscape and seascape. We want to show people that anyone can sail anywhere at any age. It really is the sport for a lifetime. Heather Rusum is executive director of the Sailing Museum, which opened just this May in a former armory and what was once the press headquarters for the America's Cup races. We're converting people to sailors. That may be the destination, but the museum is all about the journey. We say that we um, are in the edutainment industry, that there, there's essentially stealth learning built into every exhibit. So people are constantly learning as they complete activities, but it doesn't necessarily feel like it. That is achieved through interactive exhibits. The wind shifted quite a bit there. And through an individualized wristband that allows you to complete tasks and mark achievements throughout your visit. We're trying to hoist the sail as fast as you can. Okay. Here we go. Oh, it's a competition. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> The National Sailing Hall of Fame opened in Annapolis, Maryland in 2004, but Newport offered a chance to combine the Sailing Hall of Fame and an exhibit on the America's Cup Hall of Fame under one roof as the Sailing Museum. In addition to celebrating the two halls of fame, it's an opportunity to fulfill our mission in terms of inspiring a new generation of sailors and innovators. Matt and Tracy Kiley, who actually sailed here from Annapolis, give it a five-star review. I like the interactive. It's very cool how you can sort of get a sense of being on certain boats and the, the visuals are amazing. There's a lot of stuff here. There's a lot of history about sailboats and how they were made and how they were designed. Um, so I found that very interesting. From exhibits that give you the feel of racing at the highest level to information on where to sail where you live, the museum hopes to demystify the sport and make it accessible. Not everybody needs to be a sailor 
to participate in this sport. We have incredible innovators designing the equipment, the boats, the sails. There's a lot that makes up the sailing community. A community that now has a new home to celebrate its history and welcome a new generation on board. That is the goal, is let's make a sailor out of these folks. But also just to gain that appreciation for the water and for the sport and just to expand horizons. Wow, well, sailing can certainly be intimidating, and they hope to make it less so. It is. You know, sailing has its own language. It has its own rules. You're at the mercy of the wind and water. Some people are not comfortable with that. But the idea at the Sailing Museum is to introduce people to sailing, get them comfortable with sailing onshore so that they can eventually move their way offshore.